So in honor of Pride Month, we are doing handbags in all colors of the rainbow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. We talk about all things love, shopping, and handbags. If you love those things, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and do post videos every week. Okay, so as many of you know, I tend to stick to my neutral. I get bags in black, beige, slash white, and with the occasional pink very much neutral color as many of you know we are kind of stepping into more bold colors these days i remember last fall everyone was talking about red people are talking about pops of green so people are moving away from that beige aesthetic and they're incorporating a lot more colors into their wardrobe and for a lot of people that's very exciting for me I personally stick to my neutrals with the occasional pop of color. But I thought this video in Pride Month aligned perfectly. And I can't wait to show you guys different bags in each color of the rainbow, different hues of these colors as well. So if you are kind of like me, you stick to your neutrals, but you still want a little bit of a pop of color, these will be perfect for you. Okay, so starting with red, we have to start with the Gucci Jackie. I don't know what about the Gucci Jackie is just so iconic in this red color, but... Gucci has also been doing this weird thing. They've been like kind of phasing out certain colors in the original Gucci Jackie. And they're incorporating this like Gucci knotty where it's like a chain strap and it's kind of like a detached bag. I tried it on in stores. I think I prefer the original Gucci Jackie to this version of it. But they have the most beautiful red because it's not super bold and hot. It's a little bit more muted, and I really like that it has a shiny leather to it as well. Overall, just a beautiful bag. My friend actually has the mini Gucci Jackie in red, and it's just the perfect pop of color you need. The next red bag that immediately comes to mind is a red classic flap from Chanel. I would not buy this at retail price at the whopping $12,000 this bag currently costs. It's not worth it in my opinion. However, when I first started like getting into handbags and all of this stuff, I remember people telling me that the three classic colors you need from Chanel or in general is a black bag, a beige bag, and a red bag. And I feel like a red classic flap is perfect. You do have to check in season on season to find the perfect shade of red. They do have different shades of red, different hardware that you can pick from, and I feel like a red classic flap is perfect. The last red bag we have to talk about is a red Lady Dior. I have kind of accepted the fact that I will never be a Lady Dior girly, really because I think proportionally this bag just didn't work for me. That's why I did get the B Joy. However, I feel like a red Lady Dior is just iconic. As a little top handle moment, it's a bag that you can dress up, you can dress down. It's just very elegant. Moving on to orange. I feel like between Bottega and Loewe, they probably have the most orange shades. And I feel like we have to talk about the Bottega Mini Jody in this orange color. I love to hate the Mini Jody. I have one sitting right here. I love to hate this bag because it's just not a very practical bag. But is it a bag that I bring on vacations with me? Is it a bag that I surprise myself and I use more often? absolutely it's just kind of your statement bag it's a bag that you just like will carry on your top handle you know it's not a bag that you're like oh my god i love this bag because it's just so practical and it's so functional whatever and like not every bag needs to be and i feel like if you are getting a stupid bag like the mini jody where it is a little bit more of a statement you have to get it in a fun color and i just really like that this comes in a pop orange the loewe mini hammock is another handbag that i recommend quite often I really like this over the Luna and I wish this bag was released before I got the Luna because I really don't use the Luna. I tried to sell it and then it didn't sell. So if you're interested in the Luna, let me know. I really like this bag because it, in a beautiful bright orange, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a crossbody. I tried this on its doors and it's not too structured. So I feel like sometimes when you're wearing shoulder bag, if the bag bulges out too much, your arm kind of just sits on the bag like this. But if your bag isn't super full or anything like that, it does kind of mold to the rest of your body which is really nice to have and it just doesn't feel like an inconvenience. Not to mention this bag is just around $1,800. So when you are considering luxury designer handbags, this is not too badly priced for an all other handbag. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more muted, borderline tan, brown, if you will, this is the Puzzle Fold Pouch. This is the newest bag from Loewe. And I really like this style. Between this and the last bag I just showed, I'm really not sure which one I like. It really depends on what color you like. I really like that both of these bags can wear as a folder bag, can wear as a crossbody. This has elements of the puzzle bag without being super structured, without the top handle, you know. So it has elements of the puzzle bag without being the 
puzzle bag. This bag is only $1,600, so even cheaper than the hammock, and it comes in a wide variety of colors. I think this is a very beautiful bag to add to your collection. Moving on to yellow. It's been no secret that kind of this pastel yellow, the yellow that you normally see on baby nursery newborn clothes and fabrics and things like that, I feel like this yellow has been very popular recently, especially for summer. Everybody wants a nice, warm, colored bag, and this is no exception. I personally really like this color from Celine in the Celine Tree on Claude, whatever they're calling it now. I really like that this style is in a muted yellow. I've also seen my friend Lou with the most beautiful yellow Birkin. So that's obviously another yellow that you can consider as well. But I did exclude a lot of Birkin Kelly, like these kind of bags, because they're obviously harder to find. And you can't really just walk into Hermes being like, hey, I want a bright green Birkin, right? Which is why a lot of these bags are stuff that you can buy right off the shelf, online, you know, things like that. If you're looking for a bolder yellow, Miu Miu has their very iconic Wander bag. It's very similar to the Bottega Mini Jody. It's one of those bags you really just carry as a top handle. I will say I feel like this bag is a little bit more practical than the mini jody because it does come with a crossbody strap as well so if you choose to wear it with a crossbody you can do that as well i really like the shade of yellow it's a little bit warmer it's a little bit brighter so if you're not looking for something that's as pastel for the yellow this one is a great option. Moving on to green. This is going to be a little bit of a deeper green shade. Bottega has two very iconic green colors in my opinion. They have the bright like parakeet green. I think that's what they call it. Like the original Bottega Jody that came out in this like bright green color. Influencers were eating this color up. They also have a more muted green, kind of like a forest green. And I think it looks great with the Andiamo. It pairs very well with the gold hardware. It's just a very neutral and muted colored bag, especially if you're not looking for that pop of color. You're still able to incorporate a little bit of color into your wardrobe. So it's not just like black beige neutral, but this is a very beautiful green. And I think this is going to be something that you can use all year round. This is going to be something you can use for work. It's just a very neutral color. However, if you're considering more of a pastel green almost kind of like this shade gucci recently released a couple bags kind of their like super mini style bags in this pale green color this i would say is most comparable to the louis vuitton felici it's very similar in size very similar in style has the button closure it, it just it's a very similar bag i did a comparison video between this and the felici on my tiktok and pretty much this bag is the same minus price point you kind of need to decide like which one you want to choose you know but if you are looking specifically on the color i think this is a great color to add this also is only 1250 which is quite reasonable for a designer handbag that is all leather i will say just looking at the dimensions i don't feel like this bag fits a ton but it is going to be one of those bags you can kind of like grab and go moving on to blue which is one of my favorites i have been in like my blue face in quite a while like a baby blue face and I honestly thought I was going to grow out of it. I tend to change my mind after like one season. So I really didn't want to fully commit into getting multiple light blue baby blue bags, especially if I'm going to like change my mind soon, let's be honest. But it's been a couple years and I'm still obsessed with this blue color. I recently picked up my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy in this color. She's sitting up at the top here. And I really, really love having this bag. If you are going to be having a mini bag, you might as well get a bag that is a little bit more unique it's going to be a little bit more of like a pop of color a little bit more statement because let's be honest this mini bag isn't really fitting that much but you might as well get something that is a little bit more of a statement this bag currently retails for $2,500 and I've noticed around like Valentine's Day and even like other seasons as well they'll release the Nano Speedy in different color variations and things like that so if you are eyeing this bag but you don't want the regular canvas Nano Speedy I highly recommend keeping an eye out because they will have a ton of other designs and collections. The last blue bag we have to talk about, and this is honestly one of my dream bags. I love my Hermes Pika 10 18. I have it in the color Nata. She is beautiful. She is stunning. She is everything. And I have enjoyed this bag so, so much to the point where if I were to get one bag in a different color, it would be this one. It would be the Pika 10 18 in the color Blue Broom, or I believe there's another color that's like pale blue, like very similar shade of blue with gold hardware. I don't see this bag quite often popping up on resale sites, so you do need to keep an eye out for it. Obviously, you can't go and ask me Hermes because it took me like a year and like $6,000 and they still wouldn't sell me a Pika 10, but you know, it's fine. And I feel like this is just the most beautiful 
blue shade. It's like blue, but it's not too blue where it's not really a neutral. I just love this bag. I think it is gray. And I think if you are looking to get a very neutral color blue bag, it would be that one. Moving on to purple. I have two bags in mind. One is a limited edition item. So this is the Louis Vuitton Alma in the nano size. So very similar size to my Nano Speedy. It was also all part of the same like Valentine's Day collection. It's in this light purple vernis leather and it is absolutely beautiful. I noticed that my vernis bag, Nano Speedy, in the sun it has a little bit of a shimmer to it and it is absolutely stunning. If you're looking for kind of a light purple violet that kind of shade, this is beautiful. It matches very well with the Shetta. However, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more carefree, the Prada re-edition has a ton of colors now. I feel like when this bag first released, it was like black and maybe white, but like primarily black. And now they have a ton of colors. This bag is also around like the $1,100, $1,200 price point, so not terribly priced. I feel like the silver hardware for this bag complements the purple very well because the purple is a little bit more of a cooler tone. The nylon is going to be carefree. It's going to be something that you can just grab and go. It's not a bag that is the most versatile. It's not a bag that you can dress up or dress down. And with the not adjustable strap that I have, I have the same bag with the crystal. It makes it a little bit difficult if you're wearing this over your shoulder, over a thicker sweater or a coat. Those are probably my two cons with the re-edition. However, I think if you're really stuck on finding a purple bag, I think this is perfect. Okay, so that sums it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave all of the items in the description box below. Let me know in the comments which color you're thinking of adding to your collection next. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!